pre-emerge herbicides in soybeans have not been very popular over the last 10 or so years because Roundup kills everything, right? Well, especially if you spray it multiple times. And really, if you ask farmers what their favorite program is for beans, they say, well, I spray Roundup, and then if I have weeds come back, I go out and I spray it again. And, and if it happens again, I spray, spray it again. It again. <laughs> <laughs> so we end up with multiple applications of Roundup. And I don't know about you, but for me, there's got to be an easier way. There's got to be something I can do so I don't have to spray Roundup so many times. And also, when you start spraying Roundup so many times, you end up with resistant weeds. So there's got to be something to do to handle those weeds as well. Yeah, but here's the real problem in soybeans. Compared to corn or many of the other crops, we don't have great crop canopy, especially if you're in 30-inch rows, let's say. But even in 15-inch rows, we don't have great crop canopy. So you have to have longer-term control. In other words, it's awful nice if you can have a residual herbicide out there to stop weeds for two months instead of Roundup, which stops weeds today only, and more weeds can germinate tomorrow. Well, here's the other thing. There aren't a lot of great tank mix partners to put with Roundup post-emerge. So you need to address some of the weed control issues pre-emerge to do the best job. And this year, you may even save some money doing it. Well, you mentioned the weed problems. Before we get into the saving money, if you've got lamb's quarters, water hemp, those are probably the biggest issues out there. What are you supposed to do? How are you going to stop those weeds? Those are the two weeds we have the most questions on in soybeans. Lamb's quarters, water hemp. Well, when it comes to broadleaf weeds, there are a few products in soybeans you can use pre-emerge that do really an excellent job on small seeded broadleaf control. One that we've been using on our farm for the last few years is called Valor. You use it at two ounces ahead of a Roundup Ready program. It does a great job on the broadleaves. It takes out maybe half of the grass Unless you get a lot of rain, then it works very well, and you could take out more than that. But I typically count on half the grass and at least 90% of those small seeded broadleaves, if not better. Now, if you wanted to make it even better going beyond what the Valor does, you could add something along with it like Treflan, Sonalan, or Prowl. Those products are very good on the grass. They're okay on lambs, quarters, and water hemp. Valor would be a better choice. Okay, well, I've got a confession to make. We aren't just using Valor because it does a pretty good job with weed control. It's also cheaper than spraying Roundup again. So instead of doing that two-shot Roundup approach, which most guys are doing anymore, you could actually save money by putting Valor down and coming back with one shot of Roundup. Well, Valor this year is only costing about $7 an acre to use two ounces, whereas if you go out there with, say, Roundup Weather Max, that's around $10 an acre. So you can literally save $3 an acre by, instead of doing two shots of Roundup for 20 bucks, you can go with Valor and then follow it with Roundup for 17 that's a pretty good deal. Now, there's a chance that you may have to come back and spray another shot of Roundup. It happens uh, in our area. We figured the percentage is about 20 or 25 percent of the time. We have to go back with a third shot or, or a third application across the field where it's once with Valor, once with Roundup, and then another shot of Roundup to clean up a few escapes. If that happens, this year's Roundup Rewards program from Monsanto will actually cover the cost of that last application. So you put, and then put Valor so. down cheap, then you sprayed uh, one shot of Roundup, the next shot of Roundup could be free. Well, it's more than free. It's $13 an acre they give you back. So if you spend $10 for the WeatherMax, they pay you 13 That's a really good deal. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you could have 17 total up front and then nothing else. You get two shots of Roundup and a shot of Valor for $17. You really can't go wrong with that. And the weed control is excellent. Well, once again, with pre-emerge herbicides in soybeans, we think they are very important, just like they're important in corn. You've got to get your weeds under control if you want to have good yield. And uh, yes, I know that costs have, or margins, I should say, have really gotten tight this year compared to what they were last year. But you know what? We still have high-priced soybeans. You can still have a very good return on investment by having better weed control out there. And typically, results have shown that by putting a pre-emerge herbicide down, followed by one shot of Roundup, we get better yields than going out there with two or three shots of Roundup alone. Okay, let's talk about a couple of alternatives. Another thing you could do instead of using Valor is a product called Authority, and it's available in some premixes like Authority Assist, for example, where it comes with some Pursuit. I really like that, especially if you have wild buckwheat, because Valor is not very good on wild buckwheat. The Pursuit, having just a little bit of Pursuit in that Authority Assist makes all the difference in the world. So Authority by itself is very similar to Valor. Pursuit, you may think badly of Pursuit from 10 years ago when you used it, and it had some problems with water hemp and a couple other weeds. But you know what? The authority is going to take all those weeds that Pursuit had a problem with 
out. The thing with Pursuit, it's got some residual. It's great on nightshade, great on wild buckwheat, and really helps on a lot of other wheats. So Authority Assist is a great product. It'll be a little more expensive than Valor, but it might be worth it if you've got a lot of weed problems on your farm. The other one we've had a lot of questions about is mixing some first rate in with your pre-emerge products in something like Gangster, where it's Valor and first rate. And really, when you look at the rates that you're using, you're using a double rate of first rate when you put it down pre-emerge. You're using something like six tenths of an ounce instead of the three tenths of an ounce that we're using post -emerge. Well, what are you going to gain by putting first rate out? Well, you're going to gain some control on things like Morning Glory. It seems to help with Mare's Tail. It seems to help a little bit. And some of the larger seeded broadleaves like Cockleburs and Sunflowers, it does help a little bit putting that down. I like using it post. You can mix it right in with Roundup get a little bit more activity and use half the rate so you have a lot less chance of having a carryover issue. Well, the reason why we're talking about these pre-emerge herbicides, not only can we get better and more consistent yields, but the other issue is we've got problems with Roundup weed resistance. So well, a lot of weeds are growing more and more tolerant to Roundup all the time, like lamb's quarters and water hemp that I mentioned right away. We have that to deal with, and as Darren said, we don't have a lot of good post-emerge options to mix in with the Roundup. So we would encourage you, if you're starting to run into some problems with these Roundup resistant or Roundup tolerant weeds, put some kind of a pre down. It'll make it so much easier when you go back with Roundup later on. These pre-emerge products will control a lot of weeds, but will they kill our weed of the week? We'll answer that question later in the show.